Hi guys, Callum here. In this video, I'm going to explain a simple method for how you can give your filament an eco rating. Let's go. The idea for this video was triggered the other day when I was having a conversation with somebody selling PLA printed products. They were raving about how fantastic PLA is and how good these products were compared to traditional plastics. While PLA at its heart, is a biodegradable plant-based material and that's fantastic I wanted to ask the person which specific brand of PLA they were using and it turned out they were actually printing with a PLA that came on a spool like this one black plastic so even though the PLA itself is really good the spool that it came on is much less so when I spoke to them about this they said they didn't realize just how much impact the spool itself can make and I explained it like this this spool is about 250 grams. So, if you've got a kilogram of plastic on this spool, effectively 20% of the product is the spool itself. If this spool just ends up in landfill, then that means 20% as a minimum, because there could be more with support material, is ending up in landfill, which is not great. And the reason this often ends up in landfill is because plastic, especially in the UK, is generally sorted by near infrared scanners and they can't decipher what type of plastic it is when it's black. As such, it often just ends up at landfill. Now, if you've just got one of these, you might think, well, it doesn't really matter. But if you've got a lot more, you might think, well, actually, this is quite a lot of plastic that could end up in landfill. And suddenly, alternatives can seem a lot better. So to make it simpler to understand just how eco-friendly your filaments actually is, I've devised a rating system. To start with, I split it into two sections. We've got the filament on one hand and the spool on the other. So let's start by looking at the spool as I've got them in front of me. If your filament's coming on a black plastic spool, that's zero, gets no points for that. A step up from that and one point would be clear plastic, white plastic spools. They get one point because if you put them in your local resorting, uh, recycling center they will end up being turned back into plastic so that's good step up again is the cardboard spool cardboard spool generally 100% recyclable and often lighter than plastic alternative anyway for example this one here is about 150 grams compare that to about 250 grams you're already saving material and the best one is the master spool no spool at all and you make your own spool and reuse it yourself because reusing is always better than recycling which is better than making new every time. Now let's move on to the second side of the scale which is the filament itself. Now for the filament side of things we start off again with the worst sort which would be if you're working with a raw virgin material and it's an oil based plastic for example something like this ABS that would be zero points. You've then got three ways you can earn a point. The first would be if it's something like PLA, which is biodegradable and plant-based, that would be a plus point. If it contains some recycled material, then that's another plus point. If it's fully recycled, then that's another plus point. So that's the three places you can get up to three points. Now in this system, you can also get a plus mark if the recycled material is from post-consumer waste. So you have two methods of recycling. One is pre-consumer waste and one is post-consumer waste. I'll give you an example. Your Coke bottle that you've just drank out of and put in the bin, that's post-consumer waste, you've used it. Whereas pre-consumer waste would be, say, off the manufacturing lines, it's not actually been given to a consumer but it would have otherwise been put in the bin if it wasn't repurposed into material again. Hopefully that makes sense. So when you're working out the eco rating, what you're going to do is take the spool rating and add that to the plus points from the filament itself, and that gives you the overall rating. The maximum you can get from this system is six plus. Let's work through some examples and you get an idea of how this system works in practice. Take this one here. We've got Filiprint ABS X. It is, on the spool side, black plastic spool, so no points. Then on the filament side, it is a virgin ABS material, 
uh, ABS is an oil-based plastic, so again, no points. So this would be the worst sort of material to be printing with from an environmental standpoint. Let's take something else. Here we've got uh, Sunly material. This is their PLA Rainbow. It's on a clear plastic spool, so that's one point there. And we're also working with PLA, which is biodegradable plant-based material, another point there. So this would get uh, two out of six rating. This one here, we've got 3D Tomorrow's Pro PLA. It is a cardboard spool, so that's two points. And it's the biodegradable PLA, so one point there, so that gives it three out of six. Step up again, we've got Eco PLA. So this contains recycled material. It's recycled material from pre-consumer waste, so it doesn't get the star, but it would get two points for the cardboard spool, one point for the biodegradable PLA, another point for containing recycled material, and that would give it four out of six. A master spool refill, if it's PLA, would get three points because it doesn't have a spool at all, it's just a refill, and then it would get one point for being the biodegradable material. So that would be four out of six. Then we've got something like this, which is uh, recycled PET from Repet 3 d I met these guys at TCT 2019. Uh, something like this could score really highly because it's not got a spool. Uh, they do actually sell them with a spool, but say it came in master spool version, we'll assume that it gets three points there, and then it gets uh, a point for being recycled material, another point for being fully recycled, and it also gets a plus point because they're using post-consumer waste. Uh, so it's actually being made from bottles. I think this one's probably made from Sprite bottles. Uh, so that would get five plus, which is a very good mark. Now I don't have any filament here that would hit the maximum number, that's six plus, but I can give you an example. Say I was to take this bag of PLA, which is post-consumer waste, recycle it into new filament, and then use it with the master spool, that would be six plus, because we've got the master spool system, we've got post-consumer waste, and we've got a fully recycled product. Now I'm actually working with the Young Enterprise team and uh, they're hoping to do exactly that. So check out Capt Eco. Now hopefully this video has given you an insight on how you can decide how eco-friendly your filament is. If you're currently working with filament which scores maybe zero or one on this system, then maybe you should think about switching it up and looking for some more environmentally friendly options. If you're absolutely dead set on a material and it's the only place you can get it from is one supplier and they're using just these black plastic spools, then maybe write them a message, send them this video and say, is there any chance we can get some cardboard spools or even use it as a master spool refill so we can be a little bit more environmentally friendly. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Uh, lots more coming up for 2020. Cheers.